Alright guys, so this is carrying on from the last tutorial where we made these um, spinning things like this and at the moment if you get hit by one of these it'll send you flying but it'll send you flying away from the center, the pivot point and not from the actual edge of the um, bit that actually hit you. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to create a variant of this um, and it's going to send you flying away from where you actually got hit. So um, I've never done this before, but I'm going to see if I can figure it out on the fly as we go. So, in your spinner BP, let's just duplicate this so we don't mess up the original one. And just call this spinner um, new, I guess, BP. Just like that. Um, and what we're going to do for this is... Um, this capsule thing. I believe that we can delete that. I'm not sure that we're going to need it, so we can delete that, which is a shame because we put so much work into that in the last one, and we can delete all of the stuff in the construction script that was related to it. So now we just have the static mesh being set up. And if you compile and save like that, um, that's all good. So now, um, what we want to do is, with the cylinder, I believe we can go simulation generates hit events like that um, and perhaps we can also set simulate physics to true and then gravity to false just like that um, because what we want to do is we want to use a hit event so if we go cylinder and we say component hit like that and the reason that we want to use this is because we've got access to this hit result like this. And from this hit result, we have an impact point. And we, we can use that impact point to launch our character away from the beam. So let's just, off of this, see if we can get this to work properly. So we'll say print string like that whenever we get a hit. Um, I've got a feeling this will probably break and go all weird at the moment. Um, but let's see. So if we put in our spinner blueprint down like that, and we hit simulate, what happens? It looks like that cylinder's rotating, but now the um, thing on top isn't rotating because that's now simulating physics. So, what we, did that just move up as well? Yeah, okay, so that's been pushed up and it's balancing perfectly on top while that's spinning. So what we could do is we could add an angular force to that. Um, Or maybe, can I just not simulate physics and have it generate a hit? That'd be nice, you know? I'm not sure that that'll work, but we can try. So let's just go like this. Okay, it's spinning. No, it doesn't, it doesn't, oh wait, we got, yeah, we got hits. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. So maybe that did work. Weird. Okay. Well, let's roll with that then. So basically those settings were um, for the cylinder, simulation generates hit events, um, and nothing, nothing in simulate physics is set. Simulate physics is set to false. So now let's bring that, oops. Oh man, don't do this to me now. Okay, there we go. So let's drag that out like that. And then what we want to do is off of this thing here, um, where's our hit logic? So up here where we had um, on component begin overlap capsule, we can delete that because there's no capsule anymore. Um, but what we can do is we can keep all of this here and let's just move that down here, I guess, just like that. So on hit, cast a character like that. Um, other actor is going to be hooked up to the character like that. So if it is a character, um, then do this, we're going to launch, but where we're going to launch them to is we're going to have to change that function. So let's click that and go expand node like this. Um, and then what we want to do is where it says from, we just want to delete that and then just hook that all the way over here to the impact point, just like that. So we're getting a unit direction vector from the impact point to the location of the character, and then we do the launch. Okay, let's see if that works. Not 
hopeful, but we'll, we'll try. Yo, it actually worked. Oh my goodness. That is just crazy. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> so it's a bit buggy. I mean, it kind of works. Like, the hits kind of work. If you really run into it, it seems to work. Yeah. So what if I just stand here like this? Yeah, it doesn't want to work like that. What if I make it a little bit faster? Just like that. Yeah, it kind of just pushes through. So it works sometimes. Um, I wonder why that is. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but anyway, I might just leave that there because I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't even know if I'll put this on YouTube, but if you're watching it, I guess I have put it on. Oh, God. Anyway, that's an idea for you to play around with. If um, that's something that you're interested in, maybe you can figure that out. But um, I'm just going to leave that there for now because I don't want to spend too much time on it. I'll see if I can sort it out properly and then maybe I'll make another tutorial. Alright guys, that's it for this one. See you next time.